Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize icons in Word. Now, this is a really versatile technique for being creative, so let's get straight to it. If I go up to the Insert tab, go along to Icons, and then over on the right hand side, you'll see that you have a huge range of different icons. Now these icons can be split up, so they have sometimes several parts to them. Let's say for example, this one. Sometimes the icons are black and white and sometimes they are an outline. So I'm gonna show you how you can break these up, you can customize them and color them. So the first example I'm going to use is a car and I'm going to select this one here. Now this is just a black and white icon. So let's just check that and insert. Now when you insert your icon, you can resize it by pulling and pushing the corners. Now you'll also find that you can sometimes struggle to move these around. So in order to sort that problem out, make sure you've selected your icon and you're on graphics format. Go down to wrap text, and select in front of text. Once you've done that, you can now move your icon anywhere in your document. Now what we now have to do is convert this to shapes and the easy way to do this, again, make sure your icon is highlighted. Go up to convert to shape. You can just click on the top part of the car and you can now move it. And you can do exactly the same with the wheels. So you can split up an icon as much as you like and move it around, which means that if there's a certain part of an icon that you need, let's say for example, over here there's just a spanner with a car, you can actually use this icon, take away the car and just use the spanner. Now in addition to this, we can actually change the color of these elements. Again, select it, go to shape format, and you can go up to these various icons here. This is the shape fill where you can change the color. Click on the drop down. You've got a selection of colors here or you can go down to more fill colors. Here you'll have your color wheel and you can move this little cursor anywhere in the color wheel to select a color of your choice. Alternatively, you can use these icons at the top to flick between various color choices. So let's say we choose blue. You'll see your color choice in this square here and click OK. And then your car will change color. And exactly the same way, we can change the color of the wheels. Now a slightly more advanced technique to changing the colors would be to use gradients. And in order to do that, you can either double click on a shape or you can go over to format pane. Again, this is in the shape format ribbon. So if we click on that, then we have this menu here. Now the fill refers to the color inside your shape. Now at the moment we have a solid fill of gray, but you can go down to a gradient fill. And as you can see, I've got a gradient here of red to yellow. And you can see that my wheel has turned red to yellow. Now in order to change these colors you can click on these little sliders, go down to the color box here, click on the drop down and again select any color from this menu or down to more colors and select from your color wheel. Again you can do this with this slider here and change the yellow to any color you like. So we're going to go ahead and change this wheel as well. Go to gradient and again, you can see that those have changed. The other element you can change is the line, and this is the border that surrounds your shape. So I've selected the car, go down to solid line, and at the moment we've got a blue selected, but if we go down to, let's say, a black, then you can change that outline there. You can change that outline again by using your width, your transparency, and of course you can change the type of line you want with these sketch lines. So if you want it to look slightly more drawn or sketchy, you can do that as well. So let's just go and change the line of the wheels to black. 
and there you can see how you can really customize that car. Okay, so now we're going to go to an outline icon. So let's just go to icons again. And I'm going to type umbrella. And we're going to select this umbrella here and just insert. Okay, so let's make this a bit bigger. Now with these outline ones, we do need to convert these to a shape once again. So again, up to convert to shape. And when we've done that, we go up to the shape format tab. If we go along to shape fill, what we'll find is that when we change the color, it will only change the color of the outline and it will change the whole outline. Now, if you have an icon with various elements to it, you can split them up, that's fine. You can change each outline of each element. But if it's joined together like this, then you can only change the outline color as a whole. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change this color to a slightly lighter color. I'll explain why now. If we go and fill in these shapes here, we need to use one of our drawing tools. So what we need to do is to go up to insert, shape, and down to this freeform tool here. Now this freeform tool will allow you to draw any shape you want with tiny little lines. So all you need to do is click, 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 release your mouse, just keep clicking release, click, release, click, and you need to just ensure that you're within your boundary line because this shape will go behind this yellow border. Once you get back to the beginning, Word will fill that shape in for you. Now don't worry about the clunky edges because we're going to fix all that. So now all you need to do is to go up and select the color choice that you want. Let's go down to more fill and let's select a pink color and then select OK. Don't worry about the border, you can take that out if you want to by going to this icon here, but you don't need to at this stage. And what we need to do is send this shape to the back. So if you go up to this icon here that sends, says send backwards, click on the drop down and select send to back. Now, if that doesn't happen, because occasionally it doesn't, what you need to do is to bring the outline forward. So click on the umbrella, wrap text in front of text. And as you can see, the umbrella outline comes to the front and the shape goes to the back. And we can do exactly the same with the other two shapes. And I'll speed up the video whilst I go ahead and do that. Okay, so now you've completed all the shapes. Don't forget, you can go to each of these if you're not happy and just change the color. It's completely up to you. The difficulty you now have is that if you go to move this umbrella, you will see that the shapes do not move with the umbrella. So in order to solve that problem, we have to group everything together. So select this shape, hold your command or control key down, select the central shape, and the other shape and then the umbrella. Go up to the group icon, click on the drop down and select group. Once you've grouped everything together, you can move it around as one shape. The other great thing about doing this is if you then right click, you can go down and you can save it as a picture. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.